Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to All in Board. My name is Dinkar, and I welcome you all in this session. I hope everybody is doing great, feeling healthy and fine. As you all know that the exam results are getting out of every uh, big examination like SEBI, SIDBI. So today we have an opportunity to meet uh, one of the SIDBI uh, topper that is Dayala Krishna, and she has given us time to talk regarding her strategy. So today uh, we have we are welcoming uh, Dayala Krishna, and we will be going to know about her strategy, how she is able to crack this examination within a short uh, short span of time. Before start, starting uh, talking with uh, uh, Dayala, we will be just uh, letting you know regarding her basic background. She is from Hyderabad. This was her first uh, attempt in the SIDBI examination. She has done a B.Tech in ECE and right now she is working as a deputy manager in SBI. So uh, Dayala, please welcome to the session and uh, we are just congratulating you for your huge success. Welcome to the session, uh, Dayala, and thank you for giving us uh, time for talking. So, and thank congratulations you. from the whole uh, team of Olive Pool. Thank and you, thank I'm you so much. Delighted to have you over here as you are a role model for various aspirants and uh, with your views only, uh, the people will be taking some of the points and they will be preparing for their future exam strategies. So, My pleasure. <laughs> thank you so much, Dayala. So Dayala, uh, Whenever we just talk with any topper, we normally ask like, what is the exact motivation uh, which has been given, like, which, what motivates you towards this CDB examination? Yeah, actually, I was working in SBI. Uh, it is a public sector bank, right? So everyone aspires, mostly, many of my batchmates, we aspire to be a part of the regulatory body examinations or the facilitator. So uh, CDB, at the same time, we got a uh, notification of CDB was out. So I thought it's a very good opportunity because the last notification was out at uh, in 2016, I guess. Uh -huh, yes. Yeah, and also the syllabus, if you compare, it is almost same of the banking examinations. You only have uh, descriptive in access. Okay. Okay. So I thought this is like uh, doable, uh, mm. and yeah, I gave that attempt. Okay, that's great. That's great. So, uh, so you, uh, as you said that uh, most of the syllabus is already uh, like you have already prepared uh, during your SBI examination for all these things. So yes. you didn't find that much of difficulty in cracking. I think only the descriptive part uh, has been added uh, over here. Yes, yes. Uh, so since examination has various stages, so how you have gone through various stages of examination, whether you have uh, like how you have split your timing for preparing uh, the various stages of this exam. Yeah, initially, you know, there has been a lot of uh, gap for this quantitative aptitude and reasoning and all. I'm a 2018 batch probationary officer. I joined uh, uh, in January 2019. So it's oh. almost two to three years. Uh -huh. uh, there has been a gap. So first I took uh, some of the quantitative aptitude books and reasoning books. And mm. I tried to solve every topic. Okay. And then I gave, I started giving mocks. It just took around 10 to 15 days for brushing mm -hmm. up all my basics. Okay. And again, I started giving mocks on all mm. the platforms. I usually prefer Olive Board. I take mm. Olive Board mock test. And okay. I complemented it with other, uh, because Olive Board is like, uh, it's a bit uh, high. I mean, tough level of uh, this. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, I took this and also I, uh, I also complemented it with other sources. So uh, the key here is many mock tests. Many mock tests. So, so yes, we yes. take your that, uh, uh, that uh, toughness as a compliment for our Olive Board, right? Yes, we take yes, that as <laughs> because yes, uh, we, what uh, whatever all in Hollywood we have a strategy of giving the worst scenario for the student so that they are prepared for each and everything. So you have uh, given us so much of love and uh, affection to this uh, Olive Board. So thank and you. Just so preparing much. a level higher is always uh, preparing a level higher to the examination level is always uh, what is it's always a blessing only because it that, be that is all uh, that all that, that all things we keep in the olive board only because that is yes, our strategy yes. to make the students prepare yes yes so uh so you said that uh, descriptive part is a new part that you have come across right yes. so uh before any other examination have you given any descriptive or something like that Yes, last year I had given RBA grade B. Okay, I okay. couldn't make it in the mains with the one mark, the margin of uh -huh. one mark. Okay. So I had this, not I was not uh, very much well prepared with the descriptive. Last year it was the first time RBA was having descriptive. Okay. But I just had a touch of the basics of uh, okay. descriptive writing. So, so uh, what, uh, like, uh, like since you were have a touch of the descriptive, so uh, how you like, like, what, uh, like, 
whether the descriptive part you are able to do it in a proper way or you have left something or you want to uh, uh, you can do something more better than that yeah descriptive i had uh, it was easy actually it was doable uh, mm -hmm. like uh, framing the sentences introduction body and everything because you know in arabic it was having more number of words i guess 400 words and 600 words yes, yes. here i think it is around 250 words one can comfortably do Uh, yes. this is part of descriptive writing if you have a bit of practice and also mm -hmm. the topics asked are also like uh, very general in nature uh, yeah. you could complement it with some schemes some current mm -hmm. affairs and statistics the first thing is uh, we should be very particular of the grammar and spellings okay and the okay. second thing is coming to the content statistics i try to provide a bit of statistics so i made uh, few notes for uh, 10 to 15 topics okay so uh, as you said that uh, grammatical error should not be there and you should always complement your answers with uh, various statistics scheme and everything right yes. so uh, since uh, you have a very uh, like in this examination uh, less number of words are required so you can add more content to it uh, so it looks very uh, good the answer looks very yes, good yes. yeah so the beautification of the answer you are selling telling that you can beautify your answer by this way yes yeah fine uh, adding statistics will definitely catch the as a, eye I, of uh, the english letter yes yes great so uh, the very fearful part what every examination has is facing somebody right so yes. i hope you are getting where i am going <laughs> it is, it is the interview part Yes. So we just wanted to have a very exact and like if you can provide in very detailed like how you have prepared for the interviews for that. Yes, for interview I had opted olive board uh, interview. This uh, sessions were going on, so I had bought the package and I joined it. Uh, I think it is around some twelve to fifteen days, I guess, if I'm not wrong. Uh -huh. mm, and the thing was the uh, the interview panel. My interview was in Chennai. Okay. And we, I am from SBI, and out of thirteen members, nearly I think eight members are from SBI. Okay. And uh, and I was the last but one member. Uh -huh. They were all they were stressing so much on like why SIB and <laughs> why not SBI. That is obviously you know it is a large uh, bank, uh, first bank, and you're a deputy manager on probation. Uh -huh. You uh, got a promotion, and you're deputy manager, and why do you want to leave that organization? Okay. I that was the point where you know it it became a bit difficult to. Uh, or just to, to make them understand and to uh, what do you say? Uh, they yeah. were not at all getting satisfied. It was <laughs> difficult to make the panel satisfied. There were a lot of cross questionings, uh -huh. and uh, because of Olive Board, I uh, sit be related things and all the annual reports uh, okay. schemes, especially when Ma'am was teaching. Uh -huh. uh, yes, yes. yes. And, uh, I, I, everything was very good. Like uh, all the dressing and all, uh, I followed everything meticulously. But uh, the thing was like uh, they were uh, asking me repeatedly on why, why do you want to leave SBI and why do you want to join SIB? Okay. Because SBI is a top most thing. It is the same year, similar year, and it is not a purely regulatory body. Also, that I can yes, support. Yes, yes. So I was telling the facilitator and all. Yeah. There, I bet I felt a bit of uh, difficulty. remaining things were okay because uh, your sbi thing has catch the attention of the interviewer yes. so <laughs> they just wanted to grill you on that <laughs> yeah they grilled they grilled me a lot i don't know uh, other members were like okay but uh, uh, i was grilled so much on that particular thing it went on for around 50 to 20 minutes mm -hmm. and uh, most of the candidates were working as far as i know at least in my panel okay uh, so, yes so i i think uh, in the interview panel if you are a working candidate so they so you i think uh, the interview uh, becomes a little bit uh, easy because they normally ask the question related to your background right yes it is it is actually expected you know once you tell you are from sbi and you can definitely expect that question i was a bit prepared but i did not expect so much of grilling on it i was actually yeah, yeah. prepared from my side uh, okay. but you know it is like you can guess if you are a fresher no you You don't know where they move. Yeah, they where they can they move, move your yeah. degree, your bar, uh, B Tech, and all. But once you're a working candidate, they're yes. definitely going to ask you. Just prepare the annual report of SBI and annual report of SIB, uh -huh. and you just start comparing things. You know, it is at least some part of the interview is in your hands. Yes, yes, yes. And there are some technical questions on ratios also, okay. MSME sector and the ratios, and also the recent schemes, uh, mm. one or two of the recent schemes. 
especially here rbi preparation helped me in the ratios yes. Uh, yes. current yes. ratio was there and yes. uh, she was very particular of deriving ki equity mein what what uh, uh, do you add in the equity and balance sheet uh, there uh-huh. were a bit uh, technical questions in that yeah they went into technical because uh, they might be expecting that you are working for two years yes, so working, you will be yeah, knowing all and, these Right. and they asked me what was my domain i told like i, I was actually working in the personal loan sector when i was okay first okay. so they told me how if i take you what is the use for me you don't know you're not trained on msme and all okay. so what are you what will you do from your part and then i told like initially i had to st- i will have to stretch in the training period hmm. because you know i don't know but i'm ready to learn i think i'm willing to learn is crucial for anyone i am ready to extend myself uh, till i get acquainted with the subject and all okay uh, so it is like uh, they grill you sometimes on okay because you, we are not from that part and so as, doing, uh, dealing with that means so as you said that you have appeared for our olive board mock interviews right yes yes i appeared uh, mock how mock uh, that mock interviews of the olive board has helped you in your preparation for the final uh yeah actually they warned me off like uh, they also asked me the same question when you are a deputy manager yes. are you ready to go to the assistant manager this thing because you know assistant uh-huh. manager is a bit low. then uh-huh. i tried to convince them telling regulator and they asked me to look into that point very deeply they uh, i mean like they gave me a signal that you are going to get uh, grilled in this part yes. Yes. and remaining technically also they told okay because i was preparing a bit for uh, the interview they told remaining things were okay and uh, yeah they told me like uh, be prepared for th- these answers and also some related schemes and also wherever i was going uh, low and all uh, it was a very nice feedback session actually I was not uh, so much uh, confident about it but uh, yeah the interview helped me a lot yes i uh, sincerely suggest everybody whenever we are going for an interview mm-hmm. it is better we attend a mock on any platform okay. which okay. is available it is better if it is a what is a famous one because you know uh, okay. we have experienced people and their uh, uh, pieces of advice will definitely fetch us that thing yes. is there no, actually uh, that is the expert panel we set up for all these things yes yes because they are all from that domain only so they will yes, ask yes. you the same question what will be asked in your final interview because actually the mock interview was more technical than my original interview uh, like uh, commercial banks come under what article and uh-huh. uh, which act of rbi So, so, that, uh, so that so that that is the way only because since our panel knows that you are a deputy manager yes. so they they just give you on that basis only because they know that what will be coming in your final yes yes yeah. they were t- telling all that and also uh, one or two questions of like mudra and shishu loans were also asked there okay. also and yeah but uh, one needs to justify his personal background especially like uh, okay. if you are coming here it is also yes. loans and all so you need to be more uh, this thing and also we have to see the functions uh, of that role whatever role yeah all these basic things are actually covered in any interview sessions but interview can make or break your selection i guess so uh, since uh, you are already working professional uh, so uh, how you have managed the time during these six months like uh, that is a very difficult task for the professional to do it right normally yeah, in the banking was... sector in the banking sector you do not get even time like in the evening only you come right yes and, yes yes please tell that uh, actually i was on a long leave oh. uh, i took a leave okay for some one or two months uh, so i was getting i was getting time because you know last year rbi i could not make it uh, make the mains because of uh, Uh, just it was just march of one mark you know i felt this had ah, uh, yes. i was actually planning to leave the job also before uh, even uh, okay, so i was actually okay. sort of notice period thing i was doing at that time. okay so right now uh, you are already uh, working on notice period yeah i am done i am done with the notice period you are done so you yes. are right now you are not working uh, as such yeah now right now so i am not working okay so so i i i can see the confidence in you that you are so confident that you will get selected and uh, Well, totally. <laughs> no, I was your... not at all. Actually, you know, uh, banks are like you don't get time at all, and uh, yes. I wanted to be a part of the regulatory body system. These things. Okay. okay. So th- I thought this is the time I should <laughs> believe yeah. in myself. Uh, no, no you, you have totally made up your mind. Uh, like uh, this one only, I have to go, and I will do any kind of sacrifices <laughs> for whatever it comes. Uh, so no, actually, can... uh, I thought it is not. Uh, yeah i wanted to be a part of a bigger system like it's yes. a comprehensive system oh, it, it shows a dedication like uh, the way you have shown a dedication towards the exam uh, that's really motivates the people outside everywhere like uh, you should not focus on like things like if you wanted something you should better focus on that thing only 
okay whatever is the back you can just leave it also or you can continue with that also so that kind of motivation you are giving to the people like it is not like that you have to sit at a single place and focus on the other you have totally lived the thing and you are working and you have cracked that examination so that is so when it's thing. not working out you want to be something really and yes. when it's not working out i'm not i was not at all getting time to be frank uh, everyone knows how sbi works i was not even yes. getting saturdays and sundays and oh, i yes. was in the loans department also i was deputed for the home loans department uh-huh. and it yes. was like continuous straight six months i had been every saturday and sunday i was been i had been working and i was not at all getting time yes. so I, i had to take that decision it was no, a no. tough it was a very tough one but I had to. So, so uh, since this is uh, this is called as a decision making abilities, like you are like you are checking like which side I have to go. So that is a very a strong uh, thing that is required if you wanted to take that kind of decision. So I just uh, congratulate you on that. <laughs> I am lucky to have a supporting family. Actually, uh, that is one of the main reasons. Yeah, that, that's that's was why that was my next question. Only like uh, from where you find that much of motivation. <laughs> Uh, no i yeah while i was working and when i missed the mains by one mark so i thought uh-huh. okay yeah. i can do it but i was like okay uh, even if it will happen or it will not happen sometimes you know it is not like uh, i was ready to take the risk yes and i was i thought if not uh, rbi if not nabard if not sebi if not this year next year if not sit b uh-huh. ecgc or something else, i was uh-huh. see opportunities are always there it is only that we had to search so we have to just uh, grab it uh, the way right yeah, i had to take this route there are yes. people who cracked uh, while working also yes, it yes. is every story is different so. yeah every story is different yes so everybody has their own style of preparation and they just yes. do their own way everybody has to find out their own strategy they should not focus on uh, anybody else strategy whatever yes, is suiting yes. them they should do that way yes yes yeah that's great uh, so uh, right now uh, at the last uh, we just wanted to know like uh, since you have cracked this examination uh, see these examination are highly coveted on the few seats are there and a uh, lot of competition is there lakhs of forms are come right so students uh, wanted to know that uh, like what exactly uh, like you wanted to advise to the future aspirants like uh, how they should manage the thing so that they can be very, uh, they can be sure about their success like since you have managed the things properly and you are able uh, you became successful so most of the students keep on giving uh, like multiple attempts they keep on giving but still they do not figure out what they have to do so what advice exactly you want to give to them first we should be clear with our basics clear with the and basics we have to yeah basics of anything in be it english or uh, quant or reasoning and everything yes. and also uh, practice practice many mocks i think mocks will help a lot okay uh, they have to give many mocks and uh, descriptive practice also see there are few points like you can mention it in any any answer like uh, india wants to be a 5 trillion dollar eco- uh, economy by 2025 yes uh, we have to have such points you know some 10 points ready uh, be prepared with some 10 points so that you can use them uh, in any descriptive answer yes uh, so Uh, you can use sdg sustainable development everything comes under those 17 goals uh, you should always uh, i think the answer should be of solution oriented always okay. solutions should be mentioned because uh, uh, solution will not be given by many people so i think mm-hmm. solution will help us fetch marks mm-hmm. and also mock interviews are a must and also self belief self belief yes self belief yes. and never uh, never come under pressure you know under pressure yes. we underperform Yes. Uh, so never under pressure and believe in yourself. Uh, your hard work will definitely pay off. Because uh, one example I can tell is I was telling about the ratios uh, thing in huh. interview. Yes. I had actually prepared for the ratios uh, a lot for last year RBI and uh, there was some syllabus amendment and that was not there in the uh-huh. exam. <laughs> I had given many hours for it. Yes. So I was uh, I was like a bit disappointed. Why why is not there? But uh-huh. I don't know somehow that helped out here. knowledge is never going to wasted, uh, what yes. is it never never a waste <laughs> never, never going the to time put is uh, put on it is always going to fetch us returns yes we have to trust ourselves our journey and uh, yes um, yeah even though there are few seats when we are well prepared all that we need is one seat i think we have to give our try and even if we fail we should uh, see where are we lacking that Very is the main main important thing okay. because continuous failures is because maybe we are not looking properly into 
where are we going wrong once yeah. we know where are we going wrong right. i think definitely anyone anyone will be able to because most of the time that uh, happens with the students like they just give or give they keep on giving but they do not analyze their ex- patterns right like where they are exactly going wrong they simply keep on preparing in the same uh, way and uh, they just not succeed yes and luckily also we can compare when we give mocks we can compare the timing of toppers and ours and which is uh, most of the cases it is genuine everywhere like yes we yes we can compare ourselves with the toppers and a few topics you know i used to take a lot of time then again i went on youtube uh, there must be when he is able to do it in 20 seconds and i am taking 2 minutes so there is something he is not he is doing and i am not doing definitely some other method is there it must yes. be some multiple checking or he is eliminating uh-huh. the options like, yes, yes that thing is very important when someone is able to do something in a very less time and mm. we are taking more time uh, mm. it is it is a thing to be noticed you should yes. always see it with mock tests are for that actually comparing it yes. with Uh, comparison is important in competitive exams i feel and learning from them is also very important uh, sometimes like uh, students do like uh, when i myself check the answer sheet of the people too much of information they put on so what you wanted to tell regarding that like uh, how much information how much knowledge is required for giving any of the answers like uh, they just simply write whatever they know regarding it at that time Uh, yeah because in descriptive uh, because it is limited you know when uh, whenever i am writing a sentence i think if this is the common sentence everyone is writing then i will mostly yeah. avoid it okay if some introduction line is there if some in the body if i think it is statistics uh, yeah statistics i give and mm-hmm. solution yes this is not given by many i give that sentence in the descriptive because word limit is there mm-hmm. in when whenever word limit is there and we ha- we are uh, loaded with the information i mm-hmm. guess give those points which you think are a bit different and not different seen in most people. of the papers automatically you know the yeah. length of the answer will be reduced and only the main points of focus and maybe your answer will also look catchy so the world limit uh, has to adhere with, right uh, do not have we do not have to cross that world limit Uh, at exactly though it is not possible exactly yeah, yeah. it is not possible for even go a little bit up and down right uh, up and down it will happen fine uh, so uh, actually one student is asking one aspirant is asking like uh, ma'am if uh, for interview part like you said like since you are a working professional uh, you are knowing that from which part you may expect the question but yes. for all those fresher who are just now going and uh, if they are going to give a mock interview so what is the advice you are giving to that people fresher they will definitely they will definitely ask why are you when you are an engineer why are you coming to banking Uh-huh. when you are trying engineering they will definitely go on their educational background so being prepared yeah. with the educational background is one thing uh-huh. and why why are you interested in this yes that is the thing they can go they cannot go much for a fresher right uh-huh. they are also on a safe side they yes. will def- definitely ask if you are engineer why are you coming here if you are this mm-hmm. why are you coming here if they are mm-hmm. from some commerce or some banking related uh, things finance or uh, mba finance they will definitely ask some questions very deep balance yeah. sheet and all yes. those that yes. that is there so you have to support your answer why they had come mm-hmm. we can be practical actually the interview board uh, people nowadays i feel they are very practical like practical. telling i i am if, if you are not selected in sit be what would you do you yes. can outrightly say yeah i am giving i am giving many exams and this is one of the options because they are also very practical nowadays yes, it is yes. not like i will give again sit be only nothing yeah but we should know about the organization uh, we should try to tell why uh, substantiate things i was i was like telling you ki uh, this is uh, there is chances for the implementation of ideas at least uh, some chances there when compared to the commercial banks and in commercial banks the area of operations is very wide uh-huh. but here it is only for the msme sector i wanted to be in one sector i wanted to be specialized in particular mm-hmm. in one section and they are very so- jovial so they they will uh, like it just better to uh, like prepare yourself with like which part of the sit be you wanted to join why you want yes. to join that sector what motivates you towards that sector so i think you can uh, take your in- interview towards that part like purposely yes. right yes purposefully that yeah that will definitely be, yes so this is the way you can set uh, your own interview site right so we can say that yes yes Right. but sometimes you know i was actually grilled a lot like uh-huh. i was uh, i was uh, to be frank after the interview i was like uh, okay this this did not go good i was in the perception ki this did not go good okay somehow luckily it happened yeah but uh, when the exam result came you have to 
<laughs> because you think that you have not done good but as per the board they say they think that you are good <laughs> uh, actually yes one more thing here is uh, don't give up till the last moment in the interview panel because you know yes. i was grilled so much i was grilled very badly yeah. uh, one of the panel members was even telling do you even know you are sitting here it is same like sbi it is not uh, something different even here people go for npa it is also implementation and all okay. Uh, yeah sometimes they are a bit harsh also uh, but it is okay it, maybe they are testing your patience or something no, no, that that's the, that's the interview strategy to, uh, to make you into yeah. the pressure situation how yeah, you handle the so, pressure so how you handle pressure. the pressure yes i was put so under so much pressure till last yeah. moment i was telling yes i am very clear of what why i wanted to come into this role, yeah. and i was giving uh, the answer yeah that, that's what they like because you are not broken at the last so Yeah, happy with that. <laughs> yes, that I wanted to tell you know in the in, in between of the interview also I felt like uh, you know what is happening they are on the face telling like this uh, and okay I was I was telling the technical things also but they were uh, why do you want to leave us uh, yes. but it was most of the members in the panel were jovial actually yes. so my advice is uh, please be patient till the last moment yes. even in the written examination or in the interview also even. you think you don't know what the other side person is thinking yes. it's always better give your best and come out without regrets yeah. and even if you don't know something you can uh, you can have a, a bit, uh, like uh, you can say it's the right one know that and all these things yeah, you can yeah, say yeah. that because uh, yeah, yeah. it is not like that everybody knows everything right yes yes they are permitting us to guess also they are yes. permitting us to guess answers just uh, you have to be patient enough till the last of the things that you yes. have done so uh, yes. that's really a very highly motivating story that uh, we have learned today so vela this is all for today and uh, really thankful that you have taken out so much of time and i have taken a little bit more time of yourself <laughs> thanks so sorry for that my my pleasure my pleasure yeah so thank you so much and congratulations from the whole uh, team of the olive board and from the various aspirants everybody is congratulating you all the best for your future thank, thank you, you so much all the best to everyone thank out there you. yeah bye